This morning at 6.47 a.m., the International Space Station went completely dark, not offline, not damaged, erased, as if 40 years of human engineering and construction had simply been deleted from existence by an intelligence that views our greatest technological achievements as temporary inconveniences. The three-eye atlas isn't just taking control of our technology anymore. It's systematically removing it. Uh, what I'm about to reveal represents the most catastrophic assault on human civilization in recorded history because we're not just losing our tools. We're watching the systematic erasure of everything that makes modern society possible. My name is Michio Kaku, and in 40 years of witnessing technological progress, I never imagined I would document its systematic destruction by an intelligence that treats human engineering like temporary graffiti on cosmic infrastructure. The erasure isn't random destruction or aggressive attacks. It's precise, methodical removal of specific technologies that 3i Atlas has determined are incompatible with its objectives. Satellites simply vanishing from their orbits without any debris field. Communication networks going silent without any equipment failure. Power generation facilities shutting down permanently despite having full fuel supplies and functional equipment. Have you ever watched decades of human achievement being systematically deleted as if it never existed? Because that's exactly what's happening to our technological civilization. The erasure began with our most advanced systems, the ones that could potentially interfere with 3i Atlas's operations or observe its activities too closely. The James Webb Space Telescope stopped transmitting at 3.22 a.m. yesterday. Not mechanical failure, not power loss. The telescope itself is gone. Ground-based radar shows empty space where humanity's most sophisticated observatory was positioned just hours before. But here's what makes the erasure truly terrifying. The technology isn't being destroyed. It's being unmade, broken down into component elements, and dispersed as if the engineering never existed. Yeah. Three impossible processes are occurring simultaneously. Complex technological systems are being reduced to their base atomic components. The information contained in computer systems is being completely deleted from all backup sources. Uh, and most disturbing, the knowledge of how to rebuild these systems is being selectively removed from human memory. We're not just losing our tools, we're losing the ability to understand how they worked. The systematic erasure has accelerated beyond individual devices or facilities. 3i Atlas is now targeting entire technological categories that define modern civilization. Global positioning systems worldwide experienced simultaneous existence failure at 11.17 p.m. last night. Not signal interference or satellite malfunction. The satellites and their ground control systems simply cease to exist. Nuclear power plants are going offline permanently as their control systems are erased from reality. Not shut down, not damaged. The computer systems that manage them are being deleted while they operate. But the most catastrophic erasure involves something that should be impossible. 3i Atlas is removing technological knowledge from human consciousness itself. Engineers are forgetting how to design systems they invented. Programmers are losing the ability to understand code they wrote yesterday. Scientists are finding their research notes blank despite having read them hours before. The erasure process demonstrates control over matter and information that makes our understanding of physics look like kindergarten arithmetic. The 3i Atlas isn't using energy weapons or electromagnetic interference. It's manipulating the quantum states that determine whether complex arrangements of matter continue to exist in their current configuration. The fundamental forces that hold technological systems together are being selectively modified to encourage immediate decay back to simpler, more stable arrangements. But the most terrifying aspect is the information erasure. 3i Atlas can reach into human memory and delete specific technical knowledge while leaving everything else intact. We're dealing with intelligence that can edit reality itself, removing anything it considers incompatible with its objectives while leaving no trace that the removed technology ever existed. I need to share what it's like to watch human civilization being systematically erased by intelligence that views our greatest achievements as clutter requiring cleanup. Yesterday, I could explain how satellite communication works. Today, when I try to recall the technical details, I find empty spaces in my memory where that knowledge used to exist. My computer contains research files that are gradually becoming blank documents, not deleted. The information is fading as if it was written in disappearing ink. My granddaughter asked me why her tablet stopped working and why none of the repair shops can fix it. How do you explain to a child that the technology she grew up with is being systematically removed from existence? We're not just losing our tools, we're being forced to forget that we ever had them. The erasure includes something that proves 3i Atlas's process is intentional rather than accidental. It's preserving certain technologies while eliminating others.
Basic mechanical systems, simple electronics, and low-complexity devices remain functional, but anything involving satellite communication, advanced computing, or sophisticated automation is being systematically removed. The pattern suggests that 3i Atlas is reducing human technological capability to levels it considers appropriate for our cosmic status. Medical devices that rely on advanced electronics are failing worldwide, but mechanical life support systems continue operating. Modern cars are becoming inoperable, but older vehicles with simple engines still function. We're being systematically downgraded to a technological level that 3i Atlas considers safe and manageable. The erasure has triggered something beyond emergency protocols, acceptance protocols. World governments are no longer trying to resist or restore the disappearing technology. Secret communications between world leaders now focus on technological adaptation strategies and post-digital governance models. And they're preparing for a permanent return to pre-electronic civilization. Military communications have reverted to physical couriers and written messages. Government databases are being manually transcribed to paper before the information disappears forever. The most classified discussions involve collaborative downgrade procedures where human authorities are working with 3i Atlas to manage the erasure process in ways that minimize social chaos. Our leaders aren't fighting the technological erasure. They're negotiating the terms of our civilizational downgrade. The companion objects have revealed their true purpose as systematic erasure enforcement mechanisms, ensuring that no human technology escapes the downgrade process. Each companion object patrols specific regions, scanning for technologies that exceed the permitted complexity levels and removing them before they can be used. But they're not just erasing existing technology, they're preventing new technological development by removing the knowledge necessary for innovation. University engineering programs are finding their curricula mysteriously simplified. Research laboratories are discovering that their most advanced equipment has been replaced with simpler alternatives. We're being systematically reduced to a technological level where we can maintain basic civilization without posing any threat to cosmic management systems. The erasure has become intensely personal as it reaches into our daily lives and removes the technological foundations of modern existence. My home security system has been replaced with mechanical locks that I don't remember installing. My computer has reverted to capabilities it had 20 years ago, but I can't remember when the downgrade occurred. My wife's medical monitoring devices have been simplified to mechanical instruments that somehow provide better health data than the electronic versions they replace. We're discovering that many electronic conveniences were unnecessarily complex solutions to problems that simpler technologies can solve more effectively. The erasure isn't just removing our tools, it's demonstrating that we were over-engineering our solutions to basic human needs. But buried in the pattern analysis of what's being erased versus what's being preserved, I discovered something that explains 3i Atlas's selection criteria. The erasure specifically targets technologies that could be used for space exploration, long-distance communication, or advanced military applications. Technologies that support local communities, basic medical care, and sustainable living are being preserved or improved. We're not being destroyed. We're being contained, reduced to a technological level where we can thrive on Earth but cannot extend our influence beyond our planet. The erasure is designed to create a permanent technological ceiling that prevents human expansion into cosmic civilization while preserving our ability to maintain a comfortable planetary society. The selective erasure reveals that 3i Atlas operates according to cosmic management principles that view planetary civilizations as requiring technological regulation. From its perspective, allowing developing species unlimited technological growth is dangerous to both the species and the galactic communities. The erasure process suggests that every sufficiently advanced civilization reaches a point where they must choose between unlimited technological development and cosmic citizenship. We're discovering that the universe has built-in regulatory mechanisms that prevent primitive species from developing technologies they're not wise enough to use responsibly. The erasure isn't punishment, it's cosmic childproofing designed to protect us from ourselves while protecting other civilizations from us. The technological erasure forces us to confront whether our electronic civilization was actually an improvement over simpler ways of living. As complex systems disappear, many people are discovering that simpler alternatives often work better, require less maintenance, and provide more reliable service. And perhaps the erasure is revealing that human happiness and social cooperation don't require the technological complexity we assumed was necessary for civilization. 
maybe what we're losing isn't progress, but complexity that was preventing us from developing the wisdom necessary for cosmic citizenship. The erasure might be forcing us to focus on consciousness development instead of technological development. Based on the systematic technological erasure, here's what I believe is happening. 3i Atlas is implementing a permanent technological ceiling for human civilization. We're being reduced to a sustainable level of technological capability that allows us to maintain comfortable planetary society without developing the capacity to threaten other worlds. The erasure isn't temporary disruption, it's permanent modification of human civilization to ensure we remain within acceptable parameters for cosmic management. Our electronic age is ending not through collapse or war, but through cosmic administration that has determined we exceeded safe technological limits. The future isn't about recovering our lost technology, it's about learning to thrive within the technological boundaries that cosmic intelligence has established for our protection and theirs. The technological erasure will continue until human civilization reaches the level that 3i Atlas considers appropriate for our cosmic status. Focus on developing skills that don't depend on complex electronics, agriculture, craftsmanship, community organization, and interpersonal wisdom. Notice which technologies remain functional and which disappear because the pattern reveals what cosmic intelligence considers essential versus dangerous for human society. Uh, document the erasure process, but use simple methods that won't be affected by the technological downgrade. The erasure isn't ending civilization, it's redirecting human development towards sustainability, community, and wisdom instead of complexity, individual power, and cosmic reach. Subscribe to follow humanity's transition to cosmically managed technological limits because learning to thrive within imposed boundaries might be the key to our long-term survival. The question isn't how to stop the erasure. The question is how to build a fulfilling civilization within the technological limits that cosmic intelligence has determined are safe for our species. This analysis represents interpretation of reported technological phenomena and should not be considered factual documentation of systematic technology erasure. But sometimes, as scientists, we must explore possibilities that challenge our assumptions about technological progress and cosmic limits on developing civilization. What do you think the technological erasure means for humanity's future? Are we being protected or controlled? Share your thoughts below, because this transition affects every electronic device we depend on.